Hi guys, it's Erin the Tacky Painter and today we're painting this green T-Rex in watercolors. As always, all the materials that I use in this painting will be in the description below and I actually painted this same thing in acrylics and I'll put a link to that in the iCard if you want to watch that too. So I just drew him in with my Prismacolor pencil and now I'm just putting down a light layer with my Sakura Koi watercolor set. Now I'm still learning watercolors and practicing with them and experimenting with them. So I figured I'd take one of my old acrylic paintings and turn it into a watercolor painting. Now throughout this video you may notice some tiny children's hands on my painting because my kids uh, wanted to interact with mommy so <laughs> if you notice their hands you get bonus points because they come in really fast. Just adding some dots, remembering to leave the light showing through as I add more layers on top. And I do end up using my pearlescent watercolor set for their teeth because those colors are more opaque. I also tried out glazing with my watercolors or I guess it would be making a wash with them because in some spots I felt like I needed a shadow and so I came back over with a really transparent color that I watered down a lot and just added a shadow where it needed to go. Oh, th there was a baby hand. <laughs> I guess the style that I went for with this one would be more impressionistic. I wasn't really go making it look realistic. Um, I just sort of painted it how I would paint it. I'm not really sure what my style is yet. Still trying to figure all that out. I do need to try to get um, some heavier watercolor paper. This is only, I think, 98 pound paper. I should really be using 140, but I figured if I have it, I might as well use it. And yep, that's a kid crying in the background. <laughs> I've also been using my hair dryer a lot. I think I I stopped recording when I used my hair dryer, but I really do like it because it saves a lot of time. Whereas before I would have to wait for each layer to dry and I was really impatient about it. But now that I've got that hair dryer, it really helps out a lot. So if you don't have one and you're painting, I really recommend that you get one because they really come in handy. Just coming back in with more and more layers remembering that the watercolors dry lighter and I really at one point this painting was going south on me and I didn't know if I could save it but I just kept adding more layers to it and I do like how it came out in the end there now I've got my white pearlescent color and I'm just adding his teeth and I added some gold sparkles to some parts of his face just to add another layer. And I added some white to his teeth to add a highlight. I'm just adding some more spots where they're needed. I was debating on whether or not I should outline him in ink, but I decided to at the very end because it helped him stand out from the background. Now I'm just wetting the background and then I come back with some very, very light blue just to finish him up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've just got to outline him in ink and then we'll be done with this video. So I just want to say thank you and remind you that there's always something to look forward to and I look forward to painting with you guys again next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified every week when I add new videos. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment so I know that you're out there. Here's another video that I think you might enjoy. Stay tacky, my friends.